Anisha. You can write to me at tarobyanisha at gmail.com. You can also visit my website www.tarobyanisha.com. And this is your monthly forecast for February 2013. We have a lovely Venus transit in your 12th house this month, Pisces. And your 12th house is a very private house. It's a house which is known as a behind the scenes house. It is also a very, very emotional house. And it could be regarding a relationship that you're not willing to talk as of now. It also has to do with something clandestine. It also has to do with something... Uh, since uh, the 12th house deals with secrets, it deals with uh, passion, it deals with karma, it deals with a lot of spirituality. It could also be a, a soul connect that you will feel at this point of time with somebody. And again, like I said, it's something very private. The 12th house is uh, really at the back. So it's not something that you want to discuss uh, or even I would say admit or accept. But this would just be something that would be going on at the uh, back of your mind or inside you at some point. Also, this is uh, the house of self undoing as well, Pisces. This is very interesting because uh, uh, we'll talk about Saturn later as to where it is placed and how this is connecting. But self doing in the sense wherein that what is it that is not really working or has not been working for you in your deep psyche? You know, are there patterns? Are there things that are not? Uh, which you simply have been resisting but you have not sort of been uh, getting down to do something about it and this just speaks about emotional patterns so this is a time where you will be sitting and sort of undoing things for yourself undoing letting go of literally letting going of thought patterns that have emerged as uh, a child things that you grew up with things that uh, you know you were taught or you heard or your environment or your conditioning told you to do and this month it will be it's not like a very rebellious month but it's just a change at a very uh, at a very soul level at a very deep psyche uh, level so you are going to be uh, there's going to be a shift wherein that you're going to be rejecting a lot of things that are, you have sort of grown up believing into them you know that this is maybe a certain way that you should be behaving or you should be doing or uh, society expects this out of you so there is a lot of turmoil that is going to be happening and since venus is there and venus is the goddess of love beauty and sex and she also rules money it speaks about love it speaks about relationships especially your mindset towards relationships your the patterns the way that you've been thinking about relationship maybe will undergo a great change we also have Mars in your first house, so you don't have to worry about being all soppy and sad. Mars is a planet of energy and Mars will bring about its verve and also some amount of uh, aggression over there. So you will be quite assertive and first house is all about you. It's about what it is that you want uh, out of life, how it is that you see yourself and how it is that you want to be perceived, your dreams, your goals, your desires. In fact, for astrologers, the first house is one of the toughest houses to read because uh, your dreams and your desires are very unique to you. Uh, so at, at times it gets quite tough to interpret. But with Mars being there, Mars is going to be making you vocalize quite a lot as to what is it that you want, uh, how it is that you want, where it is that you see your life going or what is it that you want uh, in future for yourself. So a lot of uh, assertiveness over there, however try not to get too aggressive Pisces which is very rare because Pisces uh, are seldom border on to the uh, aggression uh, bit of it but still try and uh, sort of maintain a balance uh, this month for you. We also have a lovely Neptune that is your ruling planet that is also going to be there. And Neptune, after 13 and a half long years, has moved out of Aquarius and it has moved into your home sign, that is your first house. And uh, Neptune is a planet of uh, uh, inspiration and it brings about a lot of idealism and some sort of a dreamy haze like with it. So it could be that uh, you could be idealizing things at this point of time to quite an extent. You could be idealizing love. You could be maybe idealizing a relationship at this point of time. It could be that you have been sort of not being seeing the relationship for what it truly is because Neptune does that when it comes into play. Uh, Neptune does not make you really look at things uh, directly the way that they are or as clearly uh, as they are. 
we have a mercury retrograde as well that happens uh, towards mid month and during the retrograde we have a uh, same drill ready with mercury not to buy anything expensive no electronic big ticket gizmos to be bought travel grand travel plans to be careful about so the travel glitches don't happen also uh, i think anything new that you're starting negotiations or job interviews try not to sort of uh, close down on things at this point of time because you may not be having the complete uh, information with you at this point of time we have saturn now and saturn is uh, has gone retrograde in your seventh house and which is uh, very interesting because the rest of the planets are aligned in a uh, in, in quite an interesting is a saturn transit in your seventh house and this happened in october 2012 and now saturn is going to be going retrograde towards the end of the month and it carries on being retrograde for the next couple of months now what it is going to be doing for you is that it's going to allow you to review maybe things in your marriage what is it that you don't like or what is it that is not working how it is that you can improve things taking stock of things from past to present how things were in the past where is it that they have come where is it that you see things going Saturn is normally a planet of action and Saturn is also a planet of movement and whenever Saturn comes into play Saturn basically asks us to change to transform but during a retrograde a, uh, the Saturn energy normally asks you to review the things look at them uh, revise things maybe things that need to be changed patterns that need to be let gone and you know like it is said that uh, the way that you are often gets uh, you reflect your relationships you know so it could be something you need to be looking within yourself as to what is it that you dislike or love or irritates you and where is it that the changes can be made so it's a great month uh, Piscean especially as far as uh, reviewing and looking at your closest relationships making changes uh, and for those of you who are married and are going through a bit of a challenging spot I think it's a great time for you to be sort of again looking at patterns and letting go of things which are no longer uh, serving any purpose some behavior patterns attitudinal what is it that needs to be changed so a lot of focus over there but like again I said Venus transit is there and uh, so it's going to be quite beautiful it's going to be quite spiritual it's going to be quite uh, dreamlike for you so enjoy that have a lovely february i'll see you again in march and thank you so much for watching